everyone and welcome in. So in these messages, we are tapping into the Lion's Gate energy. Now, Lion's Gate is when the northernmost star, the brightest star in the sky, Cirrus, is in perfect alignment with our planet Earth. This alignment brings in an intense energy in which it can be used in many different ways. One of those ways is through releasing things that no longer serve us and to set intentions to move forward. That's precisely what we're tapping into in these readings. Also, guys, if you are interested in a personal reading with the Lion's Gate spread, email me and we will set everything up. So let's jump right in. This message is going to be for Pisces, Lion's Gate portal energy. And in this message, Pisces, we're going to tap into anything that you need to be releasing through this energy, anything that's not serving you currently, and where to focus your energy moving forward. I'll clarify throughout the message. I'll pull a few cards at the end for advice. If that's something you're interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. Also, guys, if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome here. It does help to set intentions for future messages. So let's dive in here, Pisces, and see what we can see for your upcoming energy for this Lion's Gate portal. Most important message here for Pisces spirit. What do my Piscean friends need to know? So this is the advice. We'll pull it over at the end. Pisces. There's a decision being made here through this portal. And I feel like this is either to take things to the next level or to walk away, which I feel like this is going to be taking things to the next level. And we're going to clarify all of this here in a minute. The energy surrounding you, the Knight of Cups. So this is an offer. This is a message of love. A lot of times this will be like a proposal um, or somebody coming in to express how they feel towards you. Now with it paired with the world, and again, we're going to clarify all of this here in a moment, but I feel like this is you saying we can either take things to the next level or walk away. What is it going to be? Okay. Now, I do feel like this person is prepared, prepared for this, okay? Prepared for moving forward in a stable position, right? Into a new beginning. Let's clarify. Now, if you find the message is helpful or resonating, please give it a thumbs up. We're going to start by clarifying the Knight of Cups energy. For Pisces, what do my Piscean friends need to know in regards to the Knight of Cups? Please and thank you. Mm -hmm. So I do feel like you are open to taking things to the next level, but you're going to be expressing to this person, you know, we need to get on the same page, right? We need to make a commitment to make this work. We need to come together, work on building a solid foundation. And I don't necessarily feel it's an ultimatum, but I do feel here, Pisces, that you're expressing to this person, well, if you care about me, then we need to take things to the next level or I have to do what's best for me. Now, I will say this person, I feel like this is the King of Pentacles energy that's in regards to this person coming in. And I do feel like they are going to be stepping up to the plate. Are you ready for this? Because I get the sense here, Pisces, that you talk a good game. 
And yes, you do feel t at times that you are prepared for this. But when this person does step up and say this, will you be? The energy that's coming in is a very passionate, very sexual connection. But there's also this, the intensity here. Okay, the Queen of Wands. I definitely feel here this withholding, this fear that's coming out is coming from both of your energy. And so just as well as this person is going to need to make a decision, it's almost as if you guys are going to have to choose one another, right? Or walk away. Now, the hermit energy here is how to align with your purpose, with what you truly want. And I feel here, Pisces, there's just been a lot of water under this bridge. There's some toxicity when it comes to this person. And even if they did say, because the Knight of Cups is coming out here as well, even if they did say, yes, I'm ready to move forward, there's a fear coming up here. A fear of commitment. And so for some of you, this person may come through and show up for a while. But I feel like, honestly, this is going to eventually fall through. Because this person's heart isn't fully in it. They are still coming up with a fearful type of energy. Intuitively, Pisces, because we have the High Priestess present, I feel like you can sense this energy. But don't want to listen and you are being called to do so okay trust your gut trust your instinct when it comes to this particular person here stand your ground when it comes to what it is that you truly want what I say here to clients guys is when you're setting boundaries boundaries aren't necessarily with a person to control a particular person boundaries are set with the universe to tell the universe this is what we will accept in our life and this is what we won't accept once you have that expectation with yourself with the universe the people who are in alignment with those expectations are going to automatically come through to you and the ones that don't resonate with that are going to walk away or you're going to walk away from them so trust your gut trust your intuition here pisces there's a reason why you're feeling a little bit of resistance, why you're um, in this position of like crossroads energy or needing to make a wanting to make a decision. So the advice guidance moving forward. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. We have the Three of Wands, the Seven of Cups, the Five of Pentacles, and the Nine of Cups. So focus on what truly makes you happy and not necessarily a person, but actions and tangible things, right? The things that you can control, what uh, actions or activities, um, what hobbies, habits, things that will bring joy and not things that will bring resistance. As far as this decision, as far as this person, get clear on the position that you're going to give this person in your life and stick with that. Again, there's a lot of water under this bridge between you and this person. There's a fear coming up here. And can you and this person overcome this fear? a four truths message to sum up your reading thank you guys again for all the love and the support be impeccable with your word cultivate faith to have great faith is to have great power because your intent your will is undivided when your word isn't dissipated by doubt. The power of your word becomes even stronger. Cultivate faith. 
beautiful 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 so having faith in what it is that you truly want that's where this three of wands energy getting clear on the bigger picture is important so pisces i feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys thank you guys again for all the love and the support and i look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon namaste